Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to convert fractions into decimals. So we have 3 over 5. The number 3, i.e. the number on top of the numerator, goes inside what we call a bus stop. And then the 5, the number at the bottom of the denominator, goes on the outside here. And then as soon as we've done that, we always have to add an additional 0 here on, and here as well. And then a decimal point. And this is the case for all fractions when we try to convert them into decimals. And then we just go ahead and divide like normal. So how many fives go into 30? And the answer is 6. So 3 fifths is equivalent to 0 0.6. Let's take a look at another example here. So we have 3 over 4. So we put a 3 in here and then a 4 on the outside. Uh, once again, we have to add an additional 0 here and an additional 0 here and a decimal point. And then we go ahead and divide like normal. So how many 4s go into 30? There's nothing that multiplies 4 to make 30 exactly, but we know that 4 times 7 gives us 28, which is just under 30. Um, and it's not going. we can't actually write 8, for example, here, because 4 times 8 is 32, which is slightly over than 30. And we always have to pick the number that is slightly below or just below 30. So the number is 7, since 4 times 7 is 28. And then since 4 times 7 is 28, how do we get from 28 to 30? How much more do we need? The answer is 2. So we have a remainder of 2 here. Once we're here at this stage, there is nothing else to bring down. So typically in a division question, we need to bring down the next number. But here we don't. So what we have to do is add an additional 0 here. So how many 4s go into 20? The answer is 5. So 3 quarters is equivalent to 0 0.5.